solid bike. Again, so we're using the drop shot just because we're puffing the sand and it's kick the bait above. Bottom. I don't mind if it bops up a little bit. This is what I'd do, I'd just do the... If I was in deeper water, I'd go like this, bop. That was a proper flounder bite as well. You know, I was saying... Oh no, you don't need it here. Do you know this works for like wide-eyed flounder in Europe? Tiny little LRF ones. But you use like a smaller Under this one. Is it a flounder? Yep. How's that then? So that's a flounder from the beach. That is just the fucking coolest thing. That is just I'm blown away. Man. Okay. Yeah, if you if you put your thumb in there, you'd feel no. Don't do it because they will clamp up. This little guy back. How well camouflaged they are in that sand. Off he goes. So the reason we're using drop shot here is we're just going to present. We're using like an XL piece of isomi, and it's just popped up off the bottom. And the idea is for confidence for the flatties is to bring them up, and once you get them up off that bottom. They hit it really confidently. We're probably only fishing in about three foot of water where these fish are in close here, but I think we've had three forecasts and two bites, so it just shows the method is absolutely killer. I was reading, I think it may have been Ben Bassett or one of the NRF players, who was saying he was trying to catch the flounder, and uh, uh, gobies came in the way, and then the flat got the arse on and the gobies and just ate one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh. Lively, it's what it is. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on here. They didn't want to. It woke up. I'm pretty, I'm expecting it to be another flatty, to be honest. Given the mark we're fishing. It yeah, it's another flat. Cheers, James. That's flounder number two. 
it's going to be neat. I thought that was going to be massive when you're back. When it, when it started going for this run. Just turn that way. Just like, yeah. Oh, you want me to have a picture with it? No, no. I just want to get on the video. I don't want to be in the picture with the fish on because it's absolutely essential for major craft, I think. Yeah, but that's probably that that might be the first one. Yeah. On the back of the one and then the second one's on the hook. <laughs> but both of my ones there, the early ones were like straight on it. Like you can tell if it's on the worm because you. But when it's actually on the hook, look. The boys that like Matt Drake and Luke who used to fish with a lot, they used to say my poor car. Like whenever I took anyone out, I always used to slap the car to show them like the because it made on the bonnet it made that. It's the only way I can explain that. What do you reckon you got here? Needs to turn its head. That's a gorgeous one. Epic. Do you want to do a photo? Yeah, do it. Do it actually. Do it from the end. Did you feel the bite? That was exactly as you described. Saying, there is not enough time really to do everything like you said we could have stood there or like, effing all I, day I, I, I mean again though I was up late this morning just to catch up the last times I won't do that again there's nothing stopping you coming down here and having a a go if you like well I'm going to walk up to that point and boy over there yeah, yeah I got one. <laughs> this one's coming in quite easy it's maybe a small one While it's swimming towards me, I'm just taking a line. Yeah, it's a baby one. Oh, it's a place. I caught a place. I've caught a place. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this one. for the boys. It's 
put up a good fight. It's flat. It's a place. Um, yeah, place. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. About half the distance that I'm casting. That's, that's like the optimum in Weymouth Harbour for him. That's what I would use when we go around onto the deeper sections yeah. on the sand. I'd use something like that. There'll be some big, big stuff. So that'll catch you like two. Heavier, heavier jig heading down to. Yeah, it's fine. We've got tungsten uh, weights. That kind of thing there really. Brings the bigger ones out. Yeah. But in the dead of winter, like really much. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> it's getting hit on the drop. How cool was that cod? Got to it. Cod, I did. Cool, though. Oh. Cool. Johnny, he's drop shot in a high tech or K tech live impact, and got a funny feeling he's into a cod. Looks a nice fish actually. Uh oh, double look up. John, Johnny's playing a, a nice one, and I've got a decent fish on a. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna guess it's another cod though. Gotta try and keep them away from the structure. So the fish are trying to get into the underneath the pontoon run. Flatty, 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 good for flatty. Good flatty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got, Johnny? Johnny's got a card, I've got a good flatty. Did you hold the fish for me? Do you want to do the double neck one? Are you going to fall down? Okay, you hold the fish. Yeah, on film actually. That's going to get more likes on the flat fish. Get this one first, mate. Flight is what we've come for. I think it's a place as well. Bring that cod over, get the cod in the net. What an absolute insane place. So I've just fished an exile piece of isomy to try and get through the cod. And I've got the flatty. Might be a flounder actually. No, no, it looks like a place, doesn't it? Shaped like a place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's got shape and it's got the... Let's just get this net and try not to get too tangled. You got, do you want to put it on your waterproof bag? Yeah. Absolutely epic, Flatty. What an LRF venue, like Flatty, big cod, mountain, snow capped in this little village in Norway. This is LRF on steroids. Let's get this one back. What time have we got? So we're walking on a sandbar as the tide goes out. It's 23.41. It's been a really overcast day today. I've had this cloud cover sitting over the top of the mountains all day. It's been windy. Tide's ebbing now. Let's get 
get over to this sandbar. Johnny's just had us walk across here. Unfortunately, I've now got soaking wet feet because the water went over the top of my boots. As we're in the Arctic Circle, the water's pretty cold. But we come here in search of flatties, so the idea is get to the end of this sandbar and hopefully hit in some flats. Yep. I have got the way from. This is flatty from the sand flats. Is it a new species or is it a flounder? It's a flounder. Cool way to catch them though. Absolutely stunning. Oh no, it's a place. place. I think it's a place. Oh yeah, it's a fish. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? To get it on this flat bike. I do. I mean, just made it for shit on me. Turn his head this way a bit. A bit more. Power back towards you.